We've done our single phase ball. So on the single phase, we just had our line and our neutral and our separate circuits from there. On our three phase ball, uh, which means we're going to have three lines there. So we've got three lines, which is line one, two, and three, and the neutral. On the ball itself, you can have single phase or three phase circuit. Okay? So if you had a single phase circuit, it'd be exactly the same as we've got for the ball here. You have a circuit breaker from either line one, two, or three. And then you can have, yeah, obviously your neutral from that as well. On a three phase circuit, which are gonna be things like motors, and you might think lifts and heaters and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna have uh, across all three phases. So we have line one, line two, and line three. And you can see the breaker on that one when we switch it off. They're all linked together, so all three of them go off at the same time. Okay, so we're isolating the whole of the three phase circuit. Okay, same again, if we want to isolate and work within the board itself, we're going to have to lock off the main switch for that. Okay, so get your equipment ready first. Uh, for this one, unlike the other lock, this doesn't have the hole on the side, so we're going to have to put something on there again so we can use the same circuit breaker adapter that we used before switch it off and lock it at that point okay so make sure you've got your equipment ready for you um, we've got different types of voltage indicators we're going to use this one here so again we make sure that it works so using the proving unit have the lamps towards you so you can see that it lights up we can see that that's actually working before we start we get permission to switch off from your client, so make sure it's okay for you to switch off. So for your client or if you're an assessor, if you're doing that. So again, we're gonna unload the board first. So we turn the breaker off that way, and then the main switch downwards. The adapter's gonna clip over the front there. Tighten that down. Make sure it's not gonna come off. Put the lock through there, lock that off, make sure you keep hold of the key uh, while you're while it's switched off. The screwdriver. So we've proved that our voltage indicator works and now we're going to prove that we're actually isolating. We can see the supply comes in, <coughs> actually comes from this isolator around here. We've got blue, brown, black and grey, which means that's going to go neutral, line one, line two, line three. Okay? And you'll remember from the classroom there, from our, our sequence of tests, we're going to go one probe onto our earth, so it's earth, and then we can just go across the, the top of the switch. If I look on the bottom of here, you'll see that is still live, yeah. okay? Yeah. When I'm trying to prove if it's isolated, we need to go to the isolated side of the switch. This is labeled up as L123. So we're gonna go earth to line one, two, three, and neutral. Yeah. I'm then going neutral, one, two, three, one to two, one to three, finally two to three. That's 10 points that you've tested. Once you've done that, we're gonna reprove our tester. It was working before we started, it's working once we finish, so we now know that that's safely isolated. And as I say, on the bottom of here, if we go neutral to any of those lines, you can see that I've got 230 volts still, and if I go between any two line, I have 400 volts. Yeah. We'll go with that. <coughs> so between line and neutral, it'll be 230 volts, okay? Because it's just a single phase that we have there. And between any two lines, which is basically where we're getting our three phase voltage, we get 400 volts. Okay, we'll go with that. Right, so now you're gonna be able to do that as well.
Right, when we put it back together, again, we're gonna go in reverse. So cover on first, bring the label through there. Main switch on first and then circulate. Any questions?